AITA for not wanting my dad, uncle's poly partners at my wedding? I. 27F. Am getting married in a few months. My dad's side of the family has a very normalized, multiple wife, GF, way of life. My grandfather had two women he called his wives in addition to my grandmother. His actual wife. And a girlfriend. After my grandfather died in 2014 my grandmother came out and said that she'd never agreed to the relationship and had been trapped because she had my dad too young and was forced to marry my grandfather. My dad and his two younger brothers shunned her and cut contact after she said this. About a year later my mum said the same thing and filed for divorce. After they divorced I ended up going no contact with my dad for several years until he reached out to me in 2019 because he was diagnosed with lung cancer. We have since redeveloped a relationship but I'm clear I have no interest in meeting his three girlfriends. When we sent out wedding invitations we offered all the adults a single plus one option. There was no issue at the time. Then my dad called this week asking about how far our venue was from a specific road because he was struggling to find an Airbnb bug enough for him and his brothers. I was confused because I assumed there would be a max of six people and I knew several Airbnbs in the area that size. He then said that he was bringing all three of his GFS. Uncle 1 was bringing his wife and his GF and Uncle 2 was bringing both his GFS as well. I calmly reminded him that he was only allowed a single plus one and I wasn't going to pay for four extra women I'd never met to drink and eat at my wedding. He said he though the plus one was a joke because he knew my mom was bringing her husband as well as her six yo and newborn so he assumed he got three guests too. I said two children who I'm very close to and one of whom is my flower girl were completely different to four extra random women. He then flipped his shit and accused me of discriminating against his lifestyle and siding with mom and holding a grudge about their divorce. AITA for not letting him bring extra guests? NTA. You might want to look into hiring security. Because these men will likely show up with all of their wives and GFS. NTA Emo. It's your wedding. You can choose who you want there or not. Your father obviously knew you didn't want to meet the girlfriends. And to do it at your wedding is a serious ah move. I don't care what you think about how they live their life. If you aren't comfortable with someone going to your wedding. They shouldn't go. NTA. Basically your father is being completely unreasonable. You decide who comes to your wedding not him. Draw firm boundaries. NTA. You were clear. He felt the rules didn't apply to him. He didn't communicate. And acted like a child when you wouldn't accommodate him. Honestly. It's your wedding. Invite or disinvite who you want. After my grandfather died in 2014 my grandmother came out and said that she'd never agreed to the relationship and had been trapped because she had my dad too young and was forced to marry my grandfather. My dad and his two younger brothers shunned her and cut contact after she said this. That's heartbreaking. Imagine giving up your freedom. A chance at a truly fulfilling relationship and your self-respect for absolutely nothing. No personal relationship with your kids. You can't even say it was worth it because they became good people out in the world. They're creating the same hurt with other women that her husband did. She gave up her life to a man that didn't respect her so she could raise kids that would never respect her. NTA I'd rescind the invitation altogether. Do you really want this kind of energy on the day you get married? Info is there cult shit involved? NTA. Regardless of lifestyle choices. You said one guest. And guest it is. If he can't accept that. He can decline. 
FNTA, I can't believe your dad is counting children as plus ones, what's wrong with him? NTA. It's your wedding. You decide who can come. And who cannot. Your father trying to gaslight you about your mother's plus three, is just to manipulate you into letting him and your uncles bring all the random women to your wedding. Your feelings are totally justified. Let him know that if he shows up with more than one, plus one, that he will not be allowed in. Look into having your bridal party or specific guests. Close friends. To act as security if you can't actually afford to hire a security guard, company. It might sound crazy but. Your wedding day is special. And it will be ruined if you can't enjoy it due to your father and uncle's weird lifestyle. Worst case. You don't allow any of the three men and their multiple women to come. And risk the relationships being damaged. However. It sounds like had your father not gotten sick in the first place. You wouldn't be in the best place with him anyways. Put your feelings first. Good luck. NTA and at this point, they'd all be uninvited if it were me. NTA. Also just want to point out the nasty irony of a man not being discriminated against and claiming. Otherwise but who also cut off his own mother for being trapped in a relationship she never wanted because it advocates for a different lifestyle. NTA. It's not about his lifestyle choices, it's about the number of guests. That's all. Ah. Are you discriminating against his abusive lifestyle that has trapped several generations of women? In forced and unwanted marriages? Poor little misogynistic polygamist. NTA. As far as I'm concerned. He's lucky you invited him. NTA misogynistic bigamy isn't a lifestyle, it's a crime. NTA. For starters I wouldn't feel comfortable with people that treat marriage this poorly on my wedding. And I'm not even talking about them being poly but shunning their mother and forcing their partners into their lifestyle. Yeah, no thanks. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm polyam and there's not a flick of prejudice in your post against polyamory. You have something against your paternal family's pattern of abuse. And that's a good thing. He thinks now that you have a relationship that you're okay with what he and his father have done. NTA. And some advice. Tell him you were never okay with how he treated your mother. How your grandfather and him and his brothers treated your grandmother. And that this pattern of hurting people is not something you respect. You restarted a relationship after being estranged because he had. Has. Lung cancer. Not because you were willing to have his life align with yours. They are all lucky they got a plus one. In my opinion these men can come on their own as a group of brothers or they don't have to come. I highly recommend rescinding the plus ones. If you don't rescind the invitations completely. NTA. I am in a poly triad and if someone invites one of my partners plus one to a wedding we respect that. We figure it's a cute date for two of us. And the third gets to have a me party at home with the cat. NTA. Uninvite him and your uncles immediately and with extreme prejudice. They have no respect for you. They have no place at your wedding. He knew my mum was being her husband as well as her six yo and newborn. Your dad can't compare his concubines to your half siblings. Those aren't the same by any means whatsoever. NTA op and tell your dad that just like he wants others to respect his choices. He should respect others as well. NTA his lifestyle aside. It's your wedding. It's your day. Who comes and who doesn't is completely up to you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, 
share, and subscribe.